and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Firstly, I want to say a very, 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 very big thank you to everyone that watched my first video. I appreciate it so much. Everyone that liked or left a kind comment, whether that was on here or over on my Instagram, I am very grateful, so thank you. <laughs> it has been a little while since the first video went out. Last weekend, I was actually in Portugal for work, which some of you might have seen over on my Instagram. Um, I was there for about four days, so I didn't get the chance to film everything, and it was super, super busy. My week has just been crazy. So I'm very grateful to have a couple of days to relax this weekend. We had a takeaway last night. We've been out for a lovely countryside walk Walk this morning and I haven't really got an awful lot planned this weekend other than getting bits done around the house and just doing a little bit of self-care to get myself back to the place that I want to be after kind of missing out on a weekend last week so yeah we've we've had a walk this morning it was really lovely I think it will be another cozy evening this evening so today I thought I would share with you my 10 styling essentials around the house. What I mean by that is 10 items that personally I think are absolutely essential and are kind of a great foundation for being able to find the style that works for your home and also being able to do it on a budget rather than buying things that maybe only suit one area or suit one room. Finding something that you're able to put into various different rooms, move around all the time. If you're anything like me, I'm a complete faffer and I just want to change rooms around all the time. I want to move vases, I want to move ornaments. So finding things that work in multiple different places is a really good start. Without further ado, let's kick off with number one in my list of essential styling pieces. So the first thing on my list is actually a tray. You can get so many different types of trays, colours, textures, materials, sizes. I think they're a great way of adding some warmth, perfect for adding some style. You can put these onto your coffee table, you can put them onto your bed, you can put them onto a sideboard. There's endless different ways that you can style these. This one in particular is maybe just short of A3 size, I'd say. I actually keep this on my coffee table, but I'm known to sort of move things around the house and you might also see the occasional bed shot with this on. So this one is from Dunelm. It's from the Churchgate range and I will leave everything linked down below, but I think off the top of my head, it's about 15 pounds, which I think is quite reasonable for a good quality wicker tray. I really like the color of it it up close just so that you can see the texture of it as well and you can style it with whatever you want I'll put candles in there I'll put little mini vases in there maybe like a bud vase something like this in the summer it's definitely on my list of essential styling pieces that's for sure so number two on my list is books I love books. Not only are they great to read and great to get some inspiration from, but I also love styling these books. And again, you can put them pretty much anywhere. You can stack them onto a sideboard. You can put them on their own on a coffee table just to add a little feature and, and fill some space if you want to. Again, they look great in baskets. If maybe you've got a TV unit and you need to fill a little gap, you could put a basket in with a stack of books. Um, which is exactly what I've done and I will show you slightly later on in the video. We'll kind of style everything up. I do have a few favourite books. So this one, I think you can get on Amazon. I actually got it from H&M, I think for about £15. But it's a really, really nice um, neutral colour and just looks quite nice sitting flat as well. This is my most recent purchase. It's called Curate. It is actually grey, which is quite unlike me. But if you can see, it's got a really, really nice um, texture to it. And I love the front of it as well. It's a really, really lovely book and it's great quality. It's almost like a linen um, material on the outside. The back is nice as well. And I just think, again, laid flat or in a stack, if you were to put this one on top of this one, I think looks really nice as well. Another book I totally forgot about is actually from a brand that I worked with on Instagram very recently uh, called Unique, and I will link them down below. I think I have a discount code 
but I, I believe it's only valid until the 5th of February, so you'd have to be quite quick. They actually print these really, really lovely notebooks with a William Morris print on. It's pretty plain on the back, it's just got the branding um, and you can choose the style of notebook that you want. But again, putting on top of a sideboard with like an ornament on top where you can just about still see this really, really nice pattern, I think looks lovely. And I actually keep this one just flat on my bedside table and it adds some lovely colour and it adds, again, just some really nice warmth to the area. So these books are great. You can get A5 versions and you can get A4 versions. And I think they're quite reasonably priced as well from memory. So yeah, go and have a look at Unique if you um, if you like the style of William Morris, definitely. The last favourite of mine, and this is a little bit of a hack with these books actually, I'm sure plenty of people have done it, but this is the Kinfolk Home Book, which again is really, really nice quality. This did actually come with a cover, and I do love the cover, but I also really like how simple this kind of embossed, is it embossed? text is at the top and sometimes I just lay that flat onto my coffee table put a candle on top of it and it just does the trick and again really nice to stack and you can use the cover for something else if you want to so yeah FYI they look really really nice without the covers on as well so the next thing on my list is an absolute essential for me and I go through them like there's no tomorrow I actually have a drawer in the house dedicated to my collection of candles. <laughs> I am a big candle lover. I have them for every season and I quite like that I have them for every season. I have really beautiful spring ones, summer ones, more kind of pumpkin spice ones for autumn and then Christmas obviously you've got the cinnamon, you've got the holly. They, there's so many different candles out there. Everyone loves a candle I think and obviously diffuser is the other option as well. Personally for me I prefer candles mostly because we quite often have uh, Ronnie in the house who you might have seen at the start of this clip. So he is actually my family dog. He lives with my dad the majority of the time but every few days he tends to come and stay with us and I think ultimately once we find a house to purchase this year hopefully he will come and live with us full time, fingers crossed. He comes and visits every now and again. And my point was with diffusers, they can upset his stomach a little bit. And there have been a couple of occasions where I've realised he has been a bit sick and I felt like the worst dog mum ever. And I realised that it was probably because he had a diffuser quite close to him. So I tend to stick to candles for that reason. I won't show you my whole collection of candles. I do have quite a few. This one in particular is quite a new one. Again, it is with a brand that I worked with recently, but there was absolutely no obligation from them to, to even mention it. But it smells incredible. It's marmalade and it's a little tin candle. Pacific Orchid and Sea Salt. It smells... I could literally eat it. It smells so nice. Another favourite of mine, which I probably mentioned in the first video, this is the one that I bought um, from HomeSense, is Sand and Fog. One big reason why I love Sand and Fog candles is because you can reuse the lids and you can interchange the lids depending on whatever time of year it is. Again, I've got autumn ones, I've got Easter ones, I've got Christmas ones. And provided you buy them the same size, and there's so many available in this size, you can just keep a just got a of that. You can just keep a collection of lids and change them as you please. The next styling essential I wanted to mention was vases. It's safe to say I do have quite a collection of vases, and again, I will show you how I style them up uh, a little bit later on in the video. But I thought I would show you just a few that I have that I consider to be quite core vases that work really well with different different arrangements within them. Number one is an absolute bargain vase. This is from Ikea. It looks really, really nice with some eucalyptus stems in, anything green. It could also look really, really pretty with some fluffy pampas stems if you wanted to or simply just some tulips, for example. There's so many ways that you could style this vase and I really, really love the kind of ribbed effect to it. I think it looks lovely. I can't remember how much this was, but it was definitely less than 10 pounds. Sticking to the white theme, this is a vase that I bought from H&M a little while ago and I really, really liked, you can see all the pampas in the bottom. I've actually taken a pampas bouquet out of this and I haven't uh, cleared out all of the 
fluffy bits of pampas at the bottom so apologies about the mess at the bottom of the vase if you can see it's actually got a really really nice gold uh rim around the top of it as well again great for pampas great for like big arrangements and to be honest it actually looks quite nice on its own as well changing from the white theme slightly this is a slightly more antique looking vase i think it might have been pine and oak that i found this one in in the sale it has got kind of a distressed effect to it and i use this as a floor vase i actually pop it usually just in the hallway outside when you come up the stairs. Again, it can actually look quite nice on its own as well. Another big favourite of mine is obviously my brand new vase that I got for my bedside table. I am in love with this and I won't go into all of the detail. If you do want to know a little bit more, you can go and watch my first video if you haven't already. But again, it was quite a good price and it just adds so much warmth to any room. And I think you could just put so many different things in this vase so yes it is definitely a big thumbs up from me this one one more vase I wanted to mention was actually one that was a bit smaller because I think when we think of vases we automatically assume that they have to be great big ones like this but actually you can get some really really nice bud vases this is a favorite of mine and it's got a really really nice crackle effect to it and it's just simple. As I said earlier, you can put it onto a styling tray, you can pop it maybe on a little book. I actually uh, pulled off some stems from another bouquet that I had, and I just sit them in there like this. I pop it onto the sideboard or onto my radiator cover, and I just think it looks really pretty as it is. It's just a little feature, perfect for summer, adds some colour to the room and looks really nice. So another styling essential of mine may sound quite straightforward, but it is simply ornaments. I try and select ornaments when I'm out shopping for home decor that I know will fit into a number of different rooms, into a number of different places. I like ones that are easily movable, that fit with the general theme of my house and I know I won't ever fall out of love with. I try and avoid trends where I can and try and stick to ones that I know I'm going to love for a very very long time rather than ones that maybe I might go off the next year. I would say this is one of my absolute favourite ornaments. This is from Neptune and obviously it's it's an artichoke with a beautiful beautiful wooden effect base to it. I'll show you the texture as well. It is lovely and this moves around my house all the time. <laughs> I'm always styling it on a sideboard, uh, on a radiator cover, on the coffee table, on the windowsill. It's a really really lovely size and it fits the theme of my house beautifully. Sticking to the same sort of theme, this I think is actually from Darnell from the Dormer range. It's actually a tea light holder but again it makes a really nice ornament. It's so so easy to just move this around the house, pop it onto a coffee table, even the dining table. I think this also looks really nice in a bathroom as well. Back to the Neptune theme, I have a couple of these lovely wrens. I just love this. You can move it around, you can put it onto a TV unit. It's the perfect size. I think it actually comes in two different sizes as well. And it's reasonably affordable. I think this one was about £14, which for Neptune isn't too bad. So yes, I absolutely love my little wren. He doesn't have a name. I have a habit of naming everything in my house. He doesn't have a name. I just call him Wren. Candlesticks are also a great feature if you want to add some height, as I said earlier, to your home theme rather than having everything on one level. So a wooden candlestick like this with a nice base to pop a pillar candle on is perfect for doing just that. I find that this is quite a nice way to interact with a lamp um, on a sideboard, which I will come on to, because a lamp can be quite tall and then you have something smaller in the middle. And then on the other end, maybe you want something that has got a similar uh, height to the lamp just to kind of keep that nice curve um, in your in your styling decor. So this is a nice one with a candle sitting on top. And again, it's got a really, really nice texture. This one is also from the Churchgate range in Dunelm and there's a couple of different heights and sizes available. So once again, I will link it. It was a really reasonable price. And yeah, it's another favorite of mine for sure. Styling essential number six, are we on six? I think we're on six 
is baskets. Baskets are brilliant. They can go on the floor, they can go under a table, they can go under a radiator cover or a console table. I have this one actually down by my bedside table just to fill a little space in the floor and you can put anything you want. This again is from Dunelm. Can you tell I am a Dunelm obsessive? You could put a cushion into this, you could put a blanket maybe hanging out. There's all sorts of things you could do here. You could even just roll up blankets and put them in. I think it just adds a bit of coziness to the room if you do want to add some cushions or blankets to a basket or even just, you know, a wicker basket or more like a trunk, I think looks absolutely beautiful as well. I would definitely have trunks if I could fit them into this house because I think trunks are just lovely and they add such a character to a room as well. Another thing favourite of mine is definitely cushions. You cannot ever have enough cushions. <laughs> this one down here is usually in the basket that I just showed you and that just sits nicely down there. These ones on my bed are an absolute favourite as well. This one tends to travel around quite a bit but these are usually always here and I just think again they add such a cosiness to any room. They fill it with warmth, it makes the bed look so inviting and I also think it gives some nice kind of hotel vibes when you've got some nice uh, varying sizes of, of chopped cushions on the bed as well. That is not my finest chop. <laughs> I thought this would be the perfect place to show you the rest of my favourites because quite a few of them feature in this corner at the top of my stairs. Number one is lamps. I think lamps are the perfect way, again, to add some warmth, to add some cosiness to your room. I very, very rarely put any of the big lights on in the house because I much prefer putting some lamps on, lighting some candles. I think it just changes the whole atmosphere of a room. So this light here has got a really, really pretty brass base to it. And then I actually just picked out um, a lampshade. I don't think this came with this lampshade. I swapped it out for another one from Dunelm, but it adds a perfect touch to this little corner. I'm pretty sure you can actually get some really nice battery operated lamps as well. So if you want to put a lamp somewhere, but you don't have a socket maybe in the corner, you can get some really nice battery ones. I pretty sure off Amazon you can get some lovely lamps. There are so many of them around at the moment. I've seen them everywhere. So that's another great alternative. Another styling favourite of mine is prints and frames. I think, again, they can completely transform a blank space if you've got one on your wall. I knew I definitely wanted to have something here because walking up the stairs, it's the first thing that you see. And so I found these really, really pretty um, floral prints from a small business who I will link down below called FJB Studio. She has some lovely, lovely prints on Etsy for really good prices as well. And I've got another one of these downstairs. And these are the frames that I mentioned in my last YouTube video uh, that I bought from the range, which were also a really, really good price. Moving down a little bit, and I will show you this in better detail. Radiator covers, in my opinion, are absolutely perfect for people who are renting in particular, like us. It's a great way of adding a nice feature without physically having to fix anything to the wall and creating a sideboard space that you might not have in a smaller home. Whilst covering up the radiators, it's kind of multifunction. This one is lovely. It sits at the top of the stairs and I did have quite a hard time finding it because this radiator is particularly high and a lot of the covers I was looking for only went up to maybe 80 something centimetres high, which just wasn't going to go over my radiators. So this one I actually found from B&Q and it looks beautiful. It's the perfect height and it just adds a really nice feature and you wouldn't even know that there was a radiator behind it. With all of that said, I obviously need to style up this space. So taking into account all of my favourite styling pieces, I'm going to move some bits from around the house and see what kind of space we can style up. of cushions downstairs as well. I tend to change these again seasonally so in the autumn winter seasons I tend to have 
more of a dark green um, cushion as the back. And then I've obviously got winter cushions. I've got some really nice rust kind of burnt orange colored cushions as well for pumpkin season. But now that I'm ready for the spring <laughs> season to start, I am literally desperate for spring. I can't wait. The sage green has come out. So I tend to use these on the sofa. And then very, very recently, actually, I found a couple of these herringbone cushion covers. Again, in Dunelm, I feel like everything I'm talking about is from Dunelm. These were a really good price. If they're still in stock, then they only cost me nine pounds each which I think for a really nice quality material herringbone cushion cover is pretty good. Definitely would recommend these. <laughs> refresh I took the time as well when I was restyling a few different places to just have a bit of a clean and it is now time to sit down and relax I have made a fresh cup of chai latte I had not discovered chai latte this time last year my best friend actually introduced it to me I think in the autumn last year between between summer and autumn I'd never tried it I didn't think it was something that I'd be interested in. And to be honest, just because it said the word latte in, I just assumed it was coffee <laughs> and it's not, it's, it's chai tea and the latte part is the milk. So I have fallen in love with it. A local shop nearby actually sells little sachets of chai latte. You can get the standard flavor, you can get caramel flavor, vanilla flavor. And I made a little space in the kitchen cupboard with a shelf with the boxes in rows and I can just go in, put the sachet of powder into a mug, add boiling water and that is it done. So this is a very cosy drink. Anyway, that was a quick list of my 10 top styling essential pieces. Obviously, it's only my opinion and if you have any other styling essentials that you think would be a definite on my list that you have around your home that you're always moving around that you couldn't live without then please do comment down below and let me know sorry i got so distracted by a dpd van outside i think i automatically assume that it's for me <laughs> when a van turns up but this time it wasn't for me i am going to pop the tv on probably catch up on some youtube myself this afternoon and then a little bit later, James will be home from golf and I think we will make a yummy dinner, cozy up, maybe make some hot chocolates because we still have some marshmallows left over, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, enjoy, enjoy our evening. <laughs>
evening. It is a little bit later on in the day, hence why the lamps are currently on. Um, there is still a little bit of light, but we've decided to have an early dinner. We've just made some yummy hot chocolates and we're snuggled up on the sofa and we're going to put some TV on and probably just have an early night because that's the kind of fun Saturdays we have around here. Let me prop you. The blankets are out. We are currently trying to find something to watch on TV. We've been watching Happy Valley, which has been really, really good. It's quite intense, um, but we've been catching up on it when we can. And I think the day this video comes out, there will be a new one on that night as well. So we'll definitely be watching that. What else have we been watching? Um, ah, we've been watching um, on, I think it's on BBC iPlayer. It's a bit more lighthearted. I'm not really massively into like game shows, uh, but Michael McIntyre has one. I think it's called The Wheel on BBC iPlayer. And it's quite funny. He has really, really good guests. And it generally, it generally tends to, it generally tends to make us laugh quite a bit. It's, it's just something kind of lighthearted if you don't really want to watch like a drama or you don't want to watch anything anything too intense so I thought with that I will end the video here I hope you're having a lovely weekend and again thank you ever so much for watching I really appreciate it I hope you enjoyed my top 10 styling essentials that I've styled around the house and of course if there's anything else that you would quite like to see then please do comment below and let me know because I'm always keen to hear what ideas you might have and I'm still quite new at navigating the whole YouTube thing, so any ideas are absolutely welcome. And of course, as everyone says, if you have enjoyed this video, then please like. And if you want to see some more, then please do subscribe because it would mean the absolute world to me. And yeah, I will see you next week for another video. I am going to curl up in a blanket get cosy and put the TV on and probably have a very early night. Goodbye.